good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us tonight in our community meeting for Kumo yeah. area. Um, street improvement, 2018 bond, year three, contract five, city project number 101452. Um, my name is Meg Zaki, and I am a project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department, Capital Delivery Team, and uh, I will be the project manager for this project during the construction. Um, first, I would like to welcome um, Mr. Uh, Michael Crane, our uh, district director, um, for attending this meeting. Mr. Michael, uh, do you want to say anything before we start the meeting? Hey, I just say, hey, uh, thanks for hosting this uh, for the neighborhoods and everybody to know. I, I'm always a fan of being open and transparent of any of the processes that we're doing as part of the city. And I think these public meetings are important for that to happen so people can understand what's happening, ask questions, and uh, do what they need to do. And thanks for all of y'all, you know, Jeff and all the team there uh, for, for making these things happen and the improvements that we need to happen in the city. So thank y'all very much for taking the time and, and doing this tonight. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> so back in September last year, we had um, <clears throat> the public meeting for this project during the design phase. And uh, tonight uh, we'll have the meeting uh, before we start the construction. So this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and uh, give you a little bit of a heads up about uh, what to expect with upcoming construction. In uh, this presentation, I will talk in detail about the project overview and the scope of the work. Um, also, I will provide you with some information on the schedule of this construction, so you will be able to know when we'll start and finish the construction in your street. During the meeting, you can send your question during the chat option in WebEx. The chat button is located at the lower right side of the WebEx screen here. Um, at, uh, and, and at the end of the meeting, I will answer all your questions. If you are joining the meeting uh, from your phone or you cannot send your question, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question. So in, uh, in this project, we have five streets. Um, first street is Boulder Drive uh, from Burton Hill Road to Oak. First Drive. Um, we have also Luck Avenue from Sabinton Place to Mary's Lane. We have Harvey Street from Dales Avenue to Wellesley Avenue. Libby Avenue from Little Beach Street to Ferron Street. And Humbert Avenue from Horn Street to Ferron St Street. Uh, in this slide, uh, you can see the existing condition of the streets. The picture on the left uh, side here, uh, this picture, most pictures are from Harvey Avenue, and as you can see, the poor condition of the asphalt paving, no concrete, curb and gutter, and broken uh, or damaged driveways. Also here, uh, the picture on the left side is from Humbert Avenue. Also, you can see the poor condition of the paving. Um, no curb and gutters, and uh, the other picture from Libby Avenue, and it is clear that we can see there is no uh, concrete driveway just uh, broken or damaged concrete on some grass. So now let us talk about uh, the scope of each street and what the city is going to do. So on Volder Avenue, we are going to replace the six inch water line with new eight inch water lines. Um, 
we are so we are going also to replace the old six inch sanitary sewer uh, lines at the back of the houses with new eight inch uh, sewer line. We are going to construct a new concrete driveways uh, for all um, the properties with minimum 11 feet width and 10 feet length. Um, we are constructing also a new concrete sidewalk five uh, feet on the north side of uh, Volder Avenue with new ADA ramps. Uh, also, back in uh, September during the uh, design meeting, I have mentioned that the paving will be asphalt. Uh, but the good thing is that the city has received a good price for concrete paving, uh, which is last longer and better than the asphalt. So all the street in this project will be uh, a concrete paving instead of asphalt. Um, the second street is Luck Avenue, and we are going to replace the six inch water line with new inch water line. Um, also, we have um, a sewer line going to be replaced from six inch to eight inch. We also replacing um, all the driveways uh, with uh, new concrete driveways, 11 feet width and 10 feet length. Also, we are going to construct new concrete uh, sidewalk five feet on the north side of Luck uh, Avenue uh, between Sevington and uh, Olive Blaze. The area between Olive Blaze and Mary's Lane will be um, uh, a part of another project which will come late, uh, later this year. Um, the street also will have uh, a new concrete building. On Harvey Street, we are going to uh, construct all the driveways, uh, as I mentioned, uh, with 11 feet uh, width and 10 feet length, and concrete paving. Uh, Libby Avenue uh, will have a uh, new 8-inch uh, water line instead of 6-inch, the old one. Also, we are, we are going to construct a new concrete driveways with minimum 11 feet width and 10 feet length. And um, also, the street will have a new concrete building. Uh, on Humbert Avenue, uh, also, we are going to replace the six inch water line with new eight inch water line. And um, we will and construct a new concrete driveways with minimum 11 feet width and 10 feet length. Also, we are going to put a new concrete sidewalk five feet on the north side of the street with ADA ramps. Uh, also, at the end, the street will have a new concrete paving. So, uh, here in this slide, you can see the proposed improvement. So, every street in this project um, will look like that when we finish the construction. Um, your streets will have a new concrete paving, nice curb on the cutter, new concrete driveways. Also, your street will have a new concrete sidewalk and new ADE ramps. Uh, here is the most important part in my presentation. Um, this slide shows you uh, our expected phase uh, and schedule of the construction. The project duration uh, is 360 calendar days or 12 months. Um, before I go in detail in this project schedule, I would like to make everyone aware um, that these dates are estimated We'll do our best to stick with this schedule, but as you know, we may be a little bit late on some street, or maybe we are ahead of schedule on the other street. This will depend on the weather condition and rains during the construction. Uh, also, back in uh, our public meeting before, we have mentioned that we are going to start in April, but the good thing is that we um, uh, are going to start the construction on Monday, 
March 8th, and we are going to start on Luck Avenue. And we anticipate to complete the construction there by uh, October 19th. The next street will be Boulder Avenue, and we will start by uh, June 7th, and we anticipate to finish there by March 2022, March 2nd, uh, 2022. Uh, Levy Street will start on May 26th uh, and to November 1st uh, this year. Harvey Street uh, will start on July 9th, uh, 2021 to September 29, 2021. Um, Humbert Avenue uh, will start on July 27, 2021 to November 2nd, 2021. Um, we anticipate to uh, complete the construction by March 2nd, 2022. Uh, here is my phone number and my email address. Please uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you need any information. Uh, Brian McGill is the city uh, construction inspector on this job, and he will be your uh, first point of contact. He will be on your uh, street on daily basis. So uh, feel free to contact him at any time. Uh, I hope that I have, a, uh, I have covered everything in my presentation. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to listen uh, and attend this meeting. Um, I am so sorry that we couldn't meet in person due to all this issue and public health concerns. Uh, and now this is the time to listen to your uh, question. If you have any, please feel free to send in the chat button or unmute yourself and ask. And I we have two questions in chat already. Uh, the yes, first sir. one is, can we ask the concrete contractors to redo an entire driveway uh, for an additional personally paid fee? Um, Definitely, yes, you can uh, reach out to our contract when they start the work, uh, contractor, when they start to work on your streets and discuss that issue with them. All right, and also uh, for Vol on Boulder Drive, will it start at Oak Forest and move towards Burton Hill or vice versa? Uh, we I don't have this information right now, but uh, I believe the contractor is with us now in the meeting, so. Um, and so uh, I, we can ask him, Dan, do you have any idea which side you're going to start? No, honestly, I do not. The, uh, the first work done on the job will be uh, the waterline work in Boulder. Uh, I don't know that even the subcontractor doing the water work would have decided which direction to go. Uh, they tie into existing lines on both ends, so I really don't think it's going to make any difference. Uh, if there's a way that we can accommodate the resident by going one direction or the other, uh, we'll be glad to uh, see if we can't do that. Yeah, so please let us know if you have any concern on which side we're going to start. You can send to me and we can discuss it with the contractor. Uh, and Margaret, while, not... while, while I'm still unmuted here, uh, in answer to the other gentleman's question, yes, we uh, we frequently do uh, replace driveways. Uh, if they will uh, approach the work crew when they're out there on the job, it's much easier for us to allow the uh, uh, supervisors of the crew to deal directly with them because we get a lot of requests like this and we don't try to run them all through the office basically so uh, it's better just to handle it on the site but yes uh, we can replace the existing driveways I think they'll they'll find the pricing is very very reasonable and uh, um, it can get done concurrently with street work so that they're not inconvenienced twice uh, just have them uh, if you get any other requests like that, just have them get with the uh, contractors once they see the excavate. I mean, the, uh, the workforce. They'll all be my employees, but uh, they'll work with you directly, and we can get anything like that done. That's all I had. Um, thank you, Dan. 
Uh, any other question? Um, so I want to make, I want to I want to make sure that everyone be aware that before we start the construction, our uh, city inspector and the contractor um, will go and put a door hanger on every uh, house to let them know that we are going to start uh, the uh, construction one week in advance. So you will know uh, what time we are going to start the construction. Also, I will leave um, this slide for you if you want to take my um, uh, contact information and the inspector also, and feel free to reach to us at any time. Maggot, could you read both uh, all that information out? We have multiple call-in users on who probably uh, they won't be able to see the screen. Okay, so uh, my name is Maggot Zaki, and I am the project manager for this project. And uh, my phone number is eight one seven three nine two five four four eight eight one seven three nine two five four four eight. Um, and my email address is maggot.zaki, M A G E D dot Z A K I at Fort Worth, Texas dot G O V. And the city inspector is Brian Maggid. And uh, his phone number is 817 647 2514. 817 647 2514. Brian, B R I A N, dot M C G I L L, at Fort Worth, Texas, dot G O P. This is the email, his email. Um, also, I want to make sure that everyone knows that um, uh, this presentation will be uh, uploaded on the city uh, YouTube channel, so you can see it uh, after some time. And as I said to you, if you have any question, please feel free to contact us. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Yes, um, I'm kind of confused. Are you, are you all talking about the street down in Como, Humber, uh, from Humber to Farron to Horn Street? I'm sorry, you said from Humber to? It said Humber Avenue, uh, Farron to Horn Street. Are you all talking about uh, repairing the streets out in the Como area? So our limit on Humbert Avenue from uh, Horn, Horn Street to Fairland Street. Yes, I, that's what I got on the email. You, you all were saying something about Humbert, um, Fairland to Horn Street. I, I'm, I'm kind of confused about on Humbert to Fairland because I, I rode down on that street and I'm looking at Fairland on Farnsworth. Where is this just where the water mains busted, right? Are you all going to re, re, uh, do some other streets? You just repairing uh, the streets to where the water mains broke, right? I'm, 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 I'm so, I'm, so. Uh, I'm sorry. That's the project we're talking about was approved as part of 2018 bonds. Uh, the street, the water break is going to be fixed, like by ne next week, this should be fixed, but that doesn't have anything to do with the water break. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so are, are you all, you all going to fix any, any streets out? My main concern is I'm worried about two streets out in Como that, that I'm wondering if they're going to ever open these streets back up. Uh, Farnsworth, I've talked to Brian Bird and several other guys about these two streets. Uh, I know like three to four years ago, they were going to open up Humber, and it's never gotten opened up. They always say that, the, that they run out of money when it comes time to fix the net. And then I'm not understanding why Farnsworth was ever closed. I grew up on Farnsworth and the street was never closed, but all of a sudden it's closed now because water used to run down the way. So maybe you all can tell me, I maybe I'm in the wrong meeting or something. I'm just trying to see what streets are you all going to uh, repair out here in Como. So the, the, the project as part of this uh, 
the situation as part of this project is voted in 2018 bond. Like whatever we do is already the voter approved it in May 2018. We cannot go and do another street because it was not approved as part of the bond. I know far north, the street you are talking about was closed due to storm drain. There is, there used to be a creek going there and then it, the pipe under the street collapsed. So it was becoming so dangerous to keep it open because the water over top the street, someone can get swept away. So I understand that street was closed because of a storm drain issue. So there is, um, it's dangerous to keep it open. Um, that you may need to contact storm water about that. Um, we'll be happy to put in the chat uh, who you can contact the customer service. And if any other street you want to ask about, we can also put uh, the customer service email. They can check and we'll get back with you as soon as, like, immediately. You will get an email or something responding to any uh, concern you have in any street. But um, the project we are presenting now is whatever was voted in as part of the bond, like I'm saying, it's, um, we, we only deliver what was approved. So some other department may be able to do like help with extra other streets or uh, bulk hall or answer the question about uh, farm wars. Hopefully that answer your question. We have another question in chat. Dorothy was asking um, about Libby Street, and I see that Maggot has put that um, back up. Um, yeah, so estimated uh, start date. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so our concern on Libby Street that we put this street during the summer uh, holiday for the school uh, because we um, know there is a school there. On Libby Street. Uh, between Little Beach and uh, Horn Street. So uh, our intention to, to do this street during the summer. So we are going to start between May 26th to November 1st. Uh, the other part of the Horn uh, of Levy Street uh, will be after, after the summer. So, uh, our intention first to complete the area between Little Beach and Horn um, during the summer between May and September or by the end of August and the other part of Levy Street uh, after after the school starts. Uh, any other questions? I have a question about Boulder. I came in a little bit late on Boulder Drive. Is this, there going to be a cost to the homeowners uh, because of the new driveways and the sidewalk? Um, no, ma'am, the city. Uh, is not asking for any additional cost. Do you mean? No. Is it, uh, you mean as a tax paying or? Yeah, I'm a homeowner and I didn't know, you know, the little driveway entrance that you're going to make. Is that going to cost me anything? Is any of this going to cost me any, me anything personally? No, ma'am. Uh, we are going to put a new concrete driveways in front of your house if you already have one. Um, and our city standard to put um, a minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length with no yeah. with no cost. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I get. I think that uh, clarification probably need to be there that it will be up to the property line, not inside private property. 
Right, right. That's what I yeah. assumed. So okay. that we mentioned is tendons uh, to the um, property uh, line. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the, I guess, the easement, the first five feet or 10 feet of the property that the city owns. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, any other questions? I do have one other question. I have a single car driveway. If I were wishing to increase the width of my driveway, uh, would that be able to be done at that time? Or would that, you know, cost me or could it, I mean, how would that, how would I undertake that as far as your portion? To make it like a, enough for two cars side by side. Um, so, um, I mean, I know I'd be responsible for the remainder of the driveway. Yeah. So, Mary, I believe the city is providing only 11 feet widths. Yeah. Uh, so, ma'am, you can oh, get an the 11. So, no, you can get that uh, if you can go if you want to. Get 18. You can get um. You can get to the planning department development, and you get a permit, and you can work with the contractor. He can install 18. So you will pay for the difference. So for two car garage, we install 18 feet. The city standard. So you can pay the difference between 11 and 18, and we can install it for you. But you oh, will have okay. to pay for the con. Yeah, you will pay the difference to the contractor, and we'll install it. Okay, you now have I have to, a you have, to get a you have to get a permit because it will be depending on the location and you cannot encroach, of course, to your neighbor. So, property, right? So have to, and your property. So, um, we can direct you to the person you can get the permit from and tell them I want it that way, and there is a contractor already working on my street. Okay, and who would I contact? That will be development, um, customer service. Um, we can send an email to Megid and uh, we'll send you the contact information in the development. Okay, uh, what's the email address I'd be sending that to? Uh, I see you just put it up there. Yeah, yeah. it's here, yes. Okay, and thank you. Put, you're welcome. And I just put on the chat if some, anyone wants to report any pothole, any want to know if the street is going to be uh, done and when. This is Rebecca Owen, our uh, in transportation public work customer service. That's her uh, phone and her email there. And or you can use the chat um, in uh, the Fort Worth app and you will get a response. Oh, okay. Um, any other questions? So thank you so much for attending this meeting and we are looking forward to working with you all and have a good night. Thank you so much.